All right, here we go with the semifinals from the Men Pro 1 division here at the Full Power Tarifa. Bonario is absolutely on fire, and we've got Beto Gomez taking on Stino Mull, Lorenzo Cassati, and Gil Vlucht. And do you know what that means? That means some insane action. And kicking off here is Gil with a massive double mega loop, a laid back roll, and he's probably going to stick it clean. Yep, that's a Signature great score on the board. Signature move from Gil, double G, double loop, laid back. Double G. We already saw Beto Gomez downwind already, so I think we missed the first move from Beto, unfortunately. But here, Stino also... Uh, there we go. Stino with a contra loop front roll and Bordoff fully extending. Getting into the flow. Here we go. Lorenzo with a nice Ooh. double mega loop laid back roll. Double loop laid back with a scorpion there for uh, for Lorenzo Cassati. Who you got for this heat? Uh, Lorenzo and Gil. Lorenzo and Gil. You? Yeah, I think the same. I think uh, Lorenzo. Sorry, mate, I already chose that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gil and Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> so clever. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think Lorenzo is going to take this heat in first. Um, but yeah, as we said, the top two riders will be advancing to the final, and then it will be a four-man final. This is the first semi-finals of the men in the pro division, in the Ooh. pro one division. Oh, look at Beto flying, going massive. Wow, sticking it. How exciting to have uh, have you all watching here, the live stream. And uh, we absolutely love uh, seeing all these riders uh, push it to the max. And uh, obviously you can vote for your rider of the day, so please go to kitemana.com slash vote and vote for your favorite rider to win a thousand euros. Is it Stino with his signature mega loop, board off from the fin and a late back roll and edit rotation, but damn it, not keeping it together there. Yeah, I think it's going to make a huge difference who can handle those landings today. Just seems to be about landing tricks today. And then heel with a boogie loop double. Boom. Not not the height there, but... He's so consistent. He knows this spot like the back of his hand. He just pulls it. Pulls it out of the bag. What? As loop board off from Lorenzo Casati and an edit rotation on the way down. Very nicely controlled and stuck there. So How much do, do the judges reward those late rotations just before the landing? I don't think they're too much of a factor. Mm. I mean, it definitely shows some control. Yeah. And you'd rather do a late rotation than be squiggling out of control. Um, I think some of the guys don't even do it purposely. It's yeah, just exactly. Kind of they just, just fall into it. Exactly. They fall into the momentum, whichever direction they're going in, and they just go with it. Isn't that about life? Just fall into the momentum Absolutely. and go with it. Go with the flow. Just go with your hangover this morning. And uh, I'm glad you joined here, up in the energy. And uh, <laughs> We're, uh, we're continuing to see some uh, some big moves. The wind is still pumping. The classic Levante here in Bonario in Tarifa for the epic 2024 edition of the Full Power. Full Power Tarifa. We've had full two Full Powers very close to each other. So we had the yeah the last one at the... When was the last one? A few months ago, right? I don't know. Wow, wow, massive one. That will up his score. That was a nice critical boogie double loop. Yeah, so we had the last full power at the end of the year last year. It was who won it? Um, I think it was oh. Jeremy. Jeremy won the last full power. So if he wins this one, then it's going nice. to be two in a row for him. And there we see Lorenzo Casati with the double loop late back and a board off. Guys are going absolutely crazy in this heat, pushing a lot of doubles, especially Lorenzo and Gil. Whoa, Beto just going with a signature single loop style. Unfortunately, not the critical kite angle, but just such a height and control. So uh, definitely some great feeling and looking moves for, uh, for Beto Gomez there. But Gil's in the lead. Yeah, so we got Gil in the lead with a 13.13. We have Lorenzo in second place for now. Very close to each other, and then Beto in third, and Stino Steinmull in fourth position for now. Yeah, Top two are going to be advancing to the final, so this is where you're really going to see the guys start to push really hard and start to do some risky moves. And yeah, the action is getting warmed up. So here goes Beto. Oh, is the replay from the mega laid back board off and edit rotation. But yeah, the double loops uh, seem to be scoring very good once uh, you have the level, the kite level there uh, on the second loop. Judges are uh, are loving and rewarding it. 
So after this heat, we will continue with the second uh, semi-final for the pro men. And uh, there we've got uh, Andrea Principi, Lucas Gramstrap, Colin Van Dijk, and Jeremy Berlando. But two of these guys will make it to, uh, through to the final. Right now it's looking like uh, Giel Vlucht and Lorenzo Cassati. Lorenzo just overtaking uh, Giel with his last maneuver. Yeah, so we pretty much got all of the world's best competitors participating at this year's Full Power Tarifa. It's pretty cool to see it at an event like this. I mean, it's uh, yeah, a big event in terms of, of level and, and having the best riders there, but it's a, it's a small organization and they're doing a really good job at, at putting this event together year after year. And uh, yeah, it's the same guys that are competing on all of the Red Bull events and at the World Championship events, so you're not gonna see a higher level than this one. Until you see me ride, of course. Until you uh, see Ruben trying his <laughs> double loops tomorrow. Oh, shit. Maybe we should live stream that so you can all have a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to do it? Does he have the balls? Is he going to do it? Give me that five meter or six meter Harlem thing and I'll pull the thing around uh. four times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do some mini loops tomorrow, man. <laughs> some mini double loops. <laughs> there we go. Beto with a boogie loop board off. Yeah. So I don't know if he's going to get the highest score for these single loop tricks. I think he might go for the doubles uh, towards the end of the season. Boom, and then Stein, he's just got that trick so good. Classic. Is he going to land it? Yep. Yeah, landing it in the corner of the stream. Unfortunately, the cameraman missing that trick, but it was a kite loop late back board off from the fin from Stein. And here we have Gil riding up close into the pier. Oh, Boom. Double loop with a late back. But he already did that. Yeah, so only the, the better one of the two is going to score. Yeah, so you give me an S loop, Gil. Come on. Exactly. You can do it. He's saving some goodness for the final, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> he doesn't want to show the judges all of his best tricks quite le yet. And there goes Lorenzo Ooh. with a double loop and a board off with a tic-tac. Super a hard. board spin, that is. A sport spin? Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah, if you do a spin it from the handle, it's a board spin. Oh, a really? tic-tac is from the fin to the handle. I'm glad I can sort you out here, mate. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me the facts. <laughs> no cap. Bang. There we go. Another nice replay there from uh, from Lorenzo's move. But yeah, the board spin is uh, when you do it from the handle. The board flip is obviously when you grab it and you flip it uh, like a kick flip or finger flip. And then uh, the tic-tac is when you grab it by the fin and you flick it around, grab it by the handle and then put it back on. So some board variations. Boom. Oh, yeah. Going so massive. I'd love to see the height on that one, but I'm sure it's above the 15 meter mark. Guys are going huge today, especially taking into account that there's flat water. They have no ramp, no kicker to take off from. So they're taking off straight from the flat. And it's pretty impressive to see them jump over 15 meters off the flat. Maybe with the higher tide this afternoon, we might see some kickers roll in. <laughs> But uh, summer is close. The closer you get to summer, the less waves there are in Tarifa. So, yeah, just uh, praying for a little bit of winter swell. Yeah, next time when the swell is here and the wind is here, definitely oh give me a call. Oh, my God, what was that? What? He dives into that late front roll, but uh, unfortunately uh, missed, missed the board there. <laughs> the so board. Doing some dance moves in the air. Uh, I just got a message from... Uh, from Victor from Harlem, he's like, "Hey, Rips, uh, send your address, and we will send you that uh, six meter for the for the quattro loop. Come on, <laughs> send me a five meter then, at least, if I'm gonna <laughs> do that." <laughs> quadruple loop. Quadruple loop. <laughs> <laughs> the Ruby quadruple loop. <laughs> quadruple loop. <laughs> Shit's getting out of control here. Doobie booby. Uh, doobie booby bubble bubble loop. <laughs> we haven't seen the doobie booby in a while now. <laughs> Maybe Hill is gonna perform one. Uh, doobie booby, yes. Can't wait. No, I think we have. We've seen the booby loop. We've seen the booby loop? Yeah. What's the booby loop? Yeah, that is the double forward with the double loop. Ah, I thought that was the doobie booby. The doobie booby, even better. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. The doobie booby. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oy, oh cr Just managed to save him himself. <laughs> wow. What a front flip! <laughs> he almost <laughs> threw the board into the crowd there. Holy shit. Oh, he's all right. He's putting his hand up, signaling to the boat that he's good. We've got an epic safety team here uh, ready to uh, to assist if needed. But uh, as soon as the rider accepts the assistance from the boat, they are uh, disqualified and their heat is over. Uh, in the lead, currently, Lorenzo Cossati again scoring into the 15 points. And uh, he's got some of the highest scoring tricks of the day. So he is definitely an event favorite. Kiting himself into the final on his Harlem kite. 
Here we go. Lorenzo, smart riding from him, deciding to abort the tack. Maybe he didn't feel the gust on that one, or maybe he wants to go right foot forward. No, I think he's going to tack back again and go left foot forward. And, uh, yeah, Gil taking his turn now. Let's see what you got. Let's see a doobie booby from Gil. Is it going to be the doobie booby? No. Back roll. Kite loop. Double loop with a late back. Getting that kite super low and sticking the landing with loads of speed. You think it will better as previous ones? I think it yeah. might. I think it might. Is it what he needed? But Lorenzo is uh, definitely ahead of the game here. Going on a massive crowd. Oh, oh my what god! The fuck? A, a contra S. That was a yeah a contra S loop, but it was like so S, almost like a U loop. What the heck? Mate? I think that was a U loop. You I want a replay that on S. that. Absolutely. Let's see the replay. Look, he's massive, and he does the contra loop. Oh, Whoa. that's a U loop. A U loop. A U loop. For you. Oh. Unfortunately, crashing there, but he would have got a massive score for that one. That was absolutely <laughs> huge. Whoa. So less than a minute left in this heat. Exciting first semifinals, and we've got some more epic action to unfold right after this with Andrea Principe, Lucas Gromstrup, Cohen van Dijk, and Jeremy Berlando. Thank you so much for tuning in here to the live stream of the Full Power Tarifa 2024. You're here with me, Ruben Lenten and Liam Whaling. Whaling? <laughs> Whaley, Whaley. <laughs> Whaling. The Whaley 1080. <laughs> Exactly, that's what's up. All right, guys, so we got Lorenzo Cassati winning this heat. Heel very close behind in second position, only a point difference. And then we have Astino in third and Beto in fourth place. Only the two top men of this heat will be advancing to the final. And uh, yeah, I think Heel is out of trick attempts, so he's just doing a little bit of a crowd pleaser there. Um, yeah, I think most of them are probably out of their trick attempts by now. So you will probably see Lorenzo and Gil going into the final. Here we go. Lorenzo Cassati taking off. Back roll. Kite loop. Double loop. And the heat is over. What a heat. End of this heat. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And congrats uh, to Lorenzo Cassati and Gil Vlug for boosting yourself into the final. And stay tuned for the next semi-final. See you now. Boom.